4D Ask Her the Grouch Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hello everyone! In today's video I'm going to be showing you a little Oscar the Grouch 4D design where Oscar is completely hidden inside his trash can until you push the little the little wire up and it goes through the trash can and then his head pops out the top and it's, it's just it's just fun and cute and I think it's adorable I you know I love these kinds of designs where there's just an element that you aren't quite prepared for and then there it is and it surprises you that kind of thing just I don't know I just love making these so I hope you guys like these and all of these different crazy designs that I make as much as I do and don't forget to click subscribe so you don't miss any of my future tutorials as well so to begin with, I'm going to start with just an overlay of a cover pink acrylic. Any kind of neutral background I think would be perfect for this. I wouldn't do anything and uh, too bright or too uh, too crazy because, you know, Oscar the Grouch, he's, he's green and silver and you could definitely do a brown background, but I would kind of keep it at, in the neutral category. And I would probably steer away from a gray too, just so that the trash can shows up really well. So I think like a beige or a brown or something in that kind of thing. And then just in case the nail with a layer of clear acrylic, just to make sure that it is nice and strong and make sure that it's got a good apex on it and all of that fun stuff. And then file it into shape. And I am using an e-file for this and starting with a relatively coarse bit, just to remove any bulk that there may possibly be and get it so that it's really nice and, and shapely. And then, uh, and then use a finer bit to remove any scratches that the first file may have left behind and give it a really nice velvety smooth texture that's easy to sculpt on. Now to make your trash can, you're going to want to take a straw and you're going to want to sculpt around about half of it. So you don't want to go all the way around the straw in a 360, but just go around half of it so that it has a nice little, nice little bridge that you will have for your trash can. And just use silver acrylic. Try to get it a little bit um, not super thick, but thick enough that it's going to really hold its shape because it'll just pop off when it's set and it'll be able to be glued on and you have a nice little, a nice little half a trash can. So glue your nice little half trash can onto the nail with some nail glue and just kind of hold it in place. The nail glue should set pretty quick. Mine was being finicky because nail glue and I, we just don't get along. Uh, but then after you have it so that it, the nail glue is just tacking it in place, it's not permanent. It's just a temporary hold fill in all of the gaps around the trash can with some more of the silver acrylic. So this is where you're really holding your trash can onto the nail. So just go ahead and fill in all of those gaps. It doesn't take too much. You can just kind of pat it along the side and then wipe off the extra. And usually it kind of fills in all of those. And then you're going to want to take and you're going to need to make the extra details on your trash can. So I'm going to begin by adding the little rim around the very top of it. So it's got just a thicker band of metal around the top of the trash can so just add in just a stripe basically and then to add the little texture on the rest of it just kind of add a wet layer of acrylic over the trash can and then sort of just pull your brush through it because they have these these sides it's not actually a round trash can they've got I don't know if it's an octagon or what shape they are, but they've got texture on them and they're kind of beat up. You know, it's not a nice new trash can right from the hardware store. It's a trash can that's been on the street a while. So don't make it perfect. Uh, it can be a little bit, a little rough around the edges. And you also are going to want to add just the little handles on the very sides. So then on a nail from backing, you're going to need to sculpt a, a circle. Let's just make a circle of the silver acrylic that's about the same size as the straw is around. So you can kind of use your straw, look at it next to it use it as a, a guide. And then as that is set, just take something and cut it in half. I'm using a pointy tweezers to do this. So just take and make it so you have two half circles. Glue one of your half circles to the bottom of the trash can. So this is kind of the joy of having this, these little, you know, you can kind of just, it's easy to make a circle and then just cut it in half. It's the best way to do this. So then secure that half circle to the bottom of the trash can with more silver acrylic. So it just takes a little bit of glue and then just like with the sides of the trash can, you need to secure it in place. So now I'm going to be doing the painting on my, on the nail. So I'm going to start by making the little sign that's above the trash can that says go away. So with white paint, paint a rectangle. Usually his sign, he's holding it and he kind of sticks it out of the trash can or it's hanging on the trash can. I kind of wanted to leave my trash can uh, unobstructed, so I decided to hang the sign above, above the nail. So then take some black paint and just add some details on your trash can. Kind of highlight those little dents that are on the side of it as well as the handles and the rim. And then go through and add a little outline around your sign. Now as you can see, I'm having, I'm adding little, uh, little indents in my sign like it's a bit torn. So you don't want to just make straight lines to outline it. Kind of, 
trying to tear it up a bit and then add the little string that is hanging from as well as just a little dot to be a nail or whatever it's whatever it's hanging on and then you're going to want to write whatever it is that you want on there like go away or scram I know there's a couple key phrases that he uses frequently so I personally like go away I think that one's I don't know go away or scram are the two that I always think of and then with an e-file bit you're going to want to poke a hole in the bottom of your trash can as close to the center as you can then apply a layer of gel sealer over the background and matte top coat over the trash can itself just a nice little layer so after the gel sealer is cured then apply the matte top coat on a nail form backing you're going to need to make your Mr. Grouch so start with green acrylic I know this is shocking green acrylic for Oscar it's just who would have thought um, and make an oval for his head and then just a pretty plain shape for his body most of the time or for the most part the body doesn't even show but you want to make sure you have that just in case on the oval for his head I did take the tip of my brush and kind of uh, beat up the edges of it so it wasn't quite so perfectly smooth edges you know kind of a little bit furrier a little more furry looking add another layer of acrylic over his face and then just sort of add a little carved out a little carved out mark down the center for his mouth and then two little little indents for where his eyes will go so you're just doing the first starting of carving out his face there with that second layer then take teeny tiny beads of white acrylic and add those for his eyes and then you're gonna want to take some brown acrylic and create his unibrow now this is the same thing it's it's just a little bit of acrylic and it's fairly wet actually so you don't want to have acrylic that's uh that's too powdery you want it to be a little bit more monomer heavy so just sort of set that down in the middle and then kind of pull it around the eyes so you just have to that's why you don't want it to be too dry because if it's too dry it's not going to let you pull it and if it's too wet it's just going to like spread out over so you kind of have to play with your consistency here but it needs to be wet enough that you can pull it around his eyes and then glue a piece of wire to the back side of oscar and then wait <laughs> that sounds kind of bad uh, but glue a piece of wire to the other side and then with black paint you're going to want to add the details so his pupils do some outlining on his unibrow add his little uh frown add some little texture on the sides of his head kind of emphasize the furriness as well as on his body set a little bit of fur texture on his body in general and then gently file the top of his head so it's nice and flat then take some nail glue and glue that other piece that other half circle of silver to the top of his head because that's the lid of the trash can and then apply some matte top coat over your oscar and you can secure the top of the trash can to the top of his head if you'd like with some clear acrylic i had a nice straight line so it really did attach really well for me so i didn't think i needed to but it's up to you um and then you're going to want to stick it through the wire through the trash can then trim off any extra glue a b to the bottom of the wire just so that you have a nice handle plus that'll keep it from falling all the way out and that is it i absolutely love this nail i think this little oscar the grouch is such a perfect use for this technique i hope you guys like it as much as i do and please share any recreations with me on facebook or instagram i'd love to see them and i will see you in my next video bye